everybody, this is Tracy from MakeBracelet'sBlog.com and as promised, I'm going to show you how to make a beaded wrap bracelet. We're going to use waxed Irish linen to make the beaded wrap bracelet today instead of a round leather cord that is often used for the framework. So here's the supplies that you need to get started. Obviously, you do need some waxed Irish linen. This is a walnut brown color that I have and it's a seven ply thickness. Um, if you have 12 ply, that's probably the ideal, and then you wouldn't need to double it over. But because I didn't have anything thicker than a 7 ply, I'm going to use this and just double it over. The beads I'm going to use today are a little bit bigger than in the bracelet that I featured on my blog. These are 4 millimeter check crystals from the blog bracelet. Um, this is a faceted eight millimeter turquoise bead that I'm gonna use. So for demonstration purposes, it works great because it's gonna get constructed a lot faster using the larger bead. Um, we need a binder clip, and this is just simply to clip your project onto whatever your surface is gonna be. So I'm gonna use a legal sized clipboard. You can also use a longer piece of strong cardboard or a bead board, any of those would work just fine, whatever you have on hand. Your thread to hold it together and to um, put the beads on, I'm using a Nemo or a Nymo thread, N-Y-M-O, and I just find it's a nice strong thread. I like to work with it, and it's what I happen to have around the house. And then you need a beading needle, something that has a small enough eye that's going to go through the holes in the beads that you're using. And this is just a Beadalon product, and it's a two and a quarter size beading needle and it has enough rigid rigidity, but it's still flexible to go in and out and weave in and around the bracelet when you're making it. And then um, a scissors for cutting. And then lastly, one of your finishing touches on your bracelet is just gonna be a button. And uh, I'm not a big hoarder of buttons. And for this particular project, I have two. I'll kind of decide when I get down to the end which one I'm going to use, but you just need to choose a button and you do need to have kind of what button in, you're going to use in mind at the beginning because when you make your initial loop, you'll see you need to know, you need to take into consideration the size of your button. So those are all your supplies that you need. Let's get started. Okay, the first step is to cut your Irish linen thread long enough and for just a single wrap bracelet, I've taken and cut approximately 60 inches or five feet of thread. And as I mentioned, we're going to double it over or have two strands on each side of our bracelet. So we're gonna take our thread and put it in half once and then fold it over a second time because keep in mind, you need to have two threads on each side of the framework of your bracelet. Okay, so that's your first step. And then we're gonna take the side that has two loops on it, and we're gonna make your loop that's gonna go around the button. This is gonna be for your closure. So take your button and sort of make sure that your loop is just big enough, just big enough for it to slip the button through. You don't want it much bigger than that, but the linen will stretch just a tiny bit and you also just want to make sure you have a nice tight closure and also just to make the bracelet look neat and clean you want that loop to be as small as possible so i'm going to tie a little knot in that linen thread at the end and i've warned you before on my blog but when you're tying knots in irish linen if you haven't worked with it before once that knot is tied, it is super duper secure, no need for any glue, but that also means when you are working with it, you have to be really calculated when you're putting that knot in, because once it's in there, it is not going to go anywhere. So if you make a mistake, you've ruined your materials. Okay, so there's that knot and your loop. Okay, that's step one. And then you have a loop down at the bottom of your other end. So I'm just going to take my scissors and give it a little cut so you have four loose, loose strands there. So now here's where the clipboard comes in and your binder clip. So I'm going to take the loop end and I'm just going to anchor it underneath the clip that's on the clipboard on one side. 
Now, if you don't have a clipboard and you just have cardboard or beadboard, you're gonna need two binder clips. I only need one binder clip here because I um, have the belching clip on the other side. So I'm gonna take my ends, ooh, and I am just really almost not long enough. I'm not used to doing a single. We're gonna to have to clip those down on this one side and I might not even have enough thread to do that. Okay, I'm gonna have to move it down. There we go, see? You can watch me make my mistakes so you can learn from them there. All right, there we go. I've got all of the sides clipped down. Okay, I've already cut my thread and I've cut eight feet of thread may seem like a lot, but you're gonna need a lot when we're doubling back through our beads. And I've threaded it through my flexible beading wire and I've doubled it over, okay? And I've taken the chance already so you don't have to watch me struggle getting the knot started. I've just anchored and done a double knot on one over one set of the threads. So I've separated two threads on each side for your framework. I've double knotted around one side, and then I've just threaded back and forth a figure eight with the thread just a few times to get started on the one end closest to the knot in the Irish linen. So now my thread is between the two sets of threads. And I'm just gonna start stringing. The hardest part is just getting yourself started Really, once you get a few beads set in place and you get a framework going, the rest just sort of flows. And I'll warn you right now, this thread being so long is going to be a little bit unruly, so you have to stay on top of it, especially in the beginning. We've set that one bead down. And because I'm using larger beads here, you got to separate the thread, the Irish linen a little bit. and. I'm going to set that bead in the middle and I'm going to go underneath the top set of threads. So I'm coming back through the center. Again, I'm taking care to pull my thread so I don't get knots in it. I've come up through the center. You can see my threads are underneath that top set. And then I'm going to go back through the bead in the opposite direction. Okay, this just really makes a stronger bracelet. So come back through and our bead is still flowing around, you can see. Pull it all the way. And again, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna watch me struggle here a little bit in the beginning to get that bead set. Now, every time you set a bead, I want you to press your knot or press your loop on the Irish linen as close to the loop end as you can, just to keep it really clean. So we've come back through, and now I'm gonna go underneath the bottom set of Irish linen threads and pull it. Ta-da, that is your first one. It's set. Okay, now we're gonna take a second bead and do the exact same thing. Thread it all the way through. Go underneath your top set of threads. Pull it. Go back through your bead in the opposite direction. Kind of hold your bead in place and pull that thread through. Pull it nice and tight. And then go underneath your bottom set. And all the while taking care to just check and make sure that your loops and your threads are nice. Pull tightly. Tight but not too tight. I'm warning you if you pull them too, too tight, uh, your bracelet is, it, it just will start to look funny. It'll start to kink up a little bit. And I'll show you one more time. So now our thread's in the middle. We're gonna thread on one more bead. 
let it draw and go under your top set back through the bead in the opposite direction pull it through hold your bead in place okay take care to make sure those loops are nice and tight and then go underneath your bottom set okay so I've shown you three beads It'd be like watching paint dry to watch me do anymore. So I'm going to do a little beading and turn off the camera and come back with you in a few minutes. Now I just tied off, after my last bead, I tied off the thread two or three times to one side of the Irish linen thread. And I unclipped my project on the one side of the board. And I took my threads, my Irish linen threads, and I just overhand knotted them twice. So that got me a nice double knot at the end of my beads and I kind of molded my knot flat which is the great thing about Irish linen is it's so much easier to tie and mold than the leather. So that's a huge bonus. So now that we have that double knot we get to attach our button. So this particular bale and this button isn't very big so I'm just going to slip the center to threads through my bail on the back of the button and I'm going to tie it twice. First though, I'm going to give it a knot just with the center two threads and I'm going to try and tie the button and work this knot down as close to the last bead as I can get it. I'm going to give it a nice tight knot. And you know what, this is probably going to be easier if you completely unclip your project on both sides. Okay, so I've got one nice tight knot with the center two Irish linen threads in there. Now I'm going to take those last two threads and just knot kind of up and under those other ones and try and make them kind of go alongside the bail. on top. All right, now as I mentioned, that linen is really not going to go anywhere. So if you want to just be safe and tie it one more time with all four of them, go ahead. And then you can snip off your extra threads. So I'm just not tying tightly here. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a snip. After you've molded it, there's a lot of knot back there, but that's not going anywhere. Take your scissors and just snip them as close as you can to the knot. And if you want to do something decorative, like I did on the one I featured on my blog, I left some of the tassels hanging out on each side. Here, so I've snipped two and I've got two. So you could snip them at slightly different lengths to make them a little bit more decorative. And then all you need to do is sort of fray the ends. Just start by kind of rolling them in your hands to loosen them up and pull apart those ends little by little. And then they'll kind of fray. You don't have to fray them out that much. Just, just a little bit to get that, that look. There you go. So that's it. So now we can go and try it on. I have so many bracelets on. But um, let's see how that looks. That's pretty cool. I like the larger beads. I think it worked out pretty nicely. They were fun to work with. So that's it. That's the uh, beaded bracelet wrap using waxed Irish linen and an eight millimeter bead. So if you have any other questions, just go to makebracelets.blog.com and leave a comment for me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.